So what does P do in Vim? Well, it allows you to put text in your register wherever you want to put it. Welcome to day P in our journey through Vim, going A through Z, uh, the whole Vim alphabet. I'm excited that you're still with us. Today we are talking about P, and we've alluded to P quite a bit in the characters C for change and D for delete, um, and we will see it again in Y for yank. But today we're talking about P and what P does it will, is it will put something from your register wherever you want to put it. Now it does get a little bit tricky. Uh, so I'm going to show you um, our way around P and what you will need to know. So let's open the quick brown dot txt file. And we're going to use a few commands that we've already learned. DD is what we're going to use to delete this full line. Now, in our register now, we have a full line with line break and everything. So if we use a lowercase p, that is going to insert our line below the line that our cursor is on. So let's do that now, p. So now we have uh, two and then one, which is the line that we deleted and are now inserting with p below the line that our cursor is on. And it moves our cursor too, to where we put it. Now. If we go up using uh, K, we can do the opposite, which is to insert above the line that our cursor's on, and we do that with capital P. Lowercase P is going to insert, if you have a full line with a line break, below, and uh, uppercase P is going to insert above. Okay, I'm gonna go down here and do DD to delete that line. I'm then gonna go up with K and move to the beginning of this word. Now I'm going to delete to the end of this word to show you how P works when you don't have a full line, but you just have like a, a snippet of text here. Uh, if I go into, so, so if I'm right here and I do capital P, it's going to insert at the left of the cursor, see? And that'll put it right back where we had it before. However, if I put it to a, a lowercase p, it's going to insert to the right of the cursor. And that will uh, leave a space and then jam it up against quick. Now, in this case, it's not what we want, but in some cases, it is what we want. You just have to remember that p is always gonna be on like the right to bottom, and then capital P is going to be on the left to top. That's where it's gonna make its insertions based on if you have a line break or not. As always, if you have any questions, you can just go to colon H P for P and read about it here. So that's it for today. Um, tomorrow we'll be talking about elemental P Q Q, which is crazy, crazy. This is a, this is another one of those advanced ones that you're probably not going to use right away, but is amazing. So I'm excited to dive into Q with you tomorrow.